uh, the guy he's already putting hooks. Come to my please, please. Yeah, he's already putting hooks. Maybe working the spider work coming up. Yeah, on the biceps and you know like this kind of position. Okay, it's not the position where you can choose to get in and start to pass. Okay, so the guy already has some control over you. Let's say like this for example. Okay, so. Uh, one thing that I like to do is to fight to get my control back like this inside, okay? But to do this, I need to start, for example, to force my knee inside over here, okay? When I do that, there's the option that computer might like, come here to pass. I'm not going to go over that. You probably have seen it. Uh, I'm going to close here, and I'm, instead of making this one, I'm going to force inside, okay? Now, I'm making distance here. I'm keeping his legs close to his butt to start to pass. So come for me again. Okay, so uh, if I just leave it open, you will have all the leverage to sweep me. The moment I press my knee inside, I will start to have some chance to take his control over me. Okay? So the moment that I put his legs together, here's what I'm going to do. I already have my knee Forcing on his shin, so his foot's close to his butt. Now with my other leg and come close. I'm not doing this. I'm switching. One, two. Okay? The moment that I make this switch, I'm gonna take this leg getting past. It's like just like if I was going to the half guard over here. Okay? But I'm not going to the half guard because my leg is outside. So as soon as I get past here, that hand's gonna come this way, and I will sit on the side. Notice that I'm squeezing his legs together. So when, when that happens, there will be two options. He doesn't feel comfortable, he wants to stretch the leg. I let him stretch, just follow the motion and get on the side. Or if for some reason he's not stretching, when I get here, all I need to do is to block the hip, I come and I take a step back, okay? There is only chance here as you block in the hip, some people will push your head and try to put it in your triangle. You're only going to get caught on that if you let go of the leg. Because when you stretch here and he tries to close the triangle, if you let go, you get caught. But you know that, so you're not going to let go. You're going to keep it tight, move it out. Bring it in, and then you have the side, okay? But this last part is detailed. Uh, the most important here is this concept. Look what I'm doing. I'm keeping him close to him. If I leave it open, he's going to work. He's going to get in. He's going to get under you. So what I'm doing, I'm forcing here. My arm alone is not strong enough, so I use my shin to block, okay? Now, this, if he stretch, completely technique, boom. If he's keeping more tight, inside. Force it in. Now, switch. Switch. Turn it in. See, my knee is getting past. I'm not doing this. I'm going like if I'm mounting on his legs over here. Now I'm getting under, control the shin, make a grip or the shin, move it out, turn. There's no Try over here, you're not gonna let go. Control, blocking the hip. Notice I'm not even going for the head, I'm just blocking the hip here. And then you have the side. Okay?